this video explains the proper batteries to use in your NOAA weather radio. Now remember, the primary source of power on a weather radio is the wall plug. You keep it plugged in all of the time. But it has battery backup in case the city electricity fails, and that's why you put the batteries in. Do not use rechargeable batteries. They don't work well in a NOAA weather radio, and there's no way that they'll continue to charge. So no rechargeables. Best to use alkalines, and these Duracells are great. But when you put your batteries in, remember with Duracell alkaline batteries you will need to refresh these once a year. The reason you don't want this to happen. If you leave alkaline batteries regardless of the brand, if you leave them inside the radio for too long they can leak acid and that will short circuit the radio. So with your smoke detectors and your weather radios we remind you to change these alkaline batteries once a year to keep them fresh. So Duracell, Energizer, they make great batteries, good, use a good quality battery. But if you want to go one step further, use these Energizer lithium batteries. Lithium batteries have no acid in them. They'll never leak acid because there's none in there. So these lithium batteries, although they cost more, you could put these in your weather radio and not have to change them for five or maybe ten years. So remember, alkaline batteries need to be refreshed once a year. Lithium batteries have no acid, so they'll never leak. You could leave those in the radio for five or ten years. The only reason you would change lithium batteries is if your city power failed for two or three days and the electricity was drained out of these batteries, then you would need fresh batteries. Otherwise, in the long run, the lithium batteries are a good, reliable option to put inside your NOAA weather radio. Put the batteries in, but always keep it plugged into the wall. The wall plug is your main source of power. Batteries are backup only.